on this episode of The Lazy Geckos. You're dealing with fog again. I'm so tired of fog. I think it looks fine like this. Yeah, honey, crawl up there. We're dealing with more fog and having loads of fun. Check out this ride. We're gonna be riding in style. We're going old school before securing our vessel for an incoming hurricane. Hurricane that's like going back and forth, back and forth. Right. How many hurricanes have we got for this? Is this your first hurricane prep? Just how many times do we need to deal with storms this year? A little knot. You work on that. Either way, we're taking you to beautiful Beaufort, North Carolina. Let's do it. You made it. How'd it go? They wouldn't let me go to Walmart. Your lens is dirty. Come on over here. Welcome to Lazy Gecko Sailing. Looking for something exciting, free, and real? If so, you found the right place. Meet Calypso, our floating home. It's not working. We're sailing her all over and taking you for the ride. Please click on subscribe so you don't miss any of the fun. You're dealing with fog again. I thought you said if we went south, there'd be no more fog. No, we need to go further south. I'm so tired of fog. What's it like being out here with a wall of fog you literally can't uh, see? I'm just constantly looking at the radar and looking for crab pots that pop up and then it's like a last second ditch to miss it every time. And then you get boats that you know are moving at like 22 knots. I don't know why they're moving at 22 knots. They are and uh, they don't have AIS or anything. They're just, they're just blasting through the fog. Like we're getting hit by a wake right now that came from a boat flying through. So we move at 7.3 knots and that's more than enough for me really. Do you even see that boat? No, I didn't see it. A lot of birds are migrating right now so you get a lot of flocks of birds and uh, they show up on a radar like uh, like a boat sometimes. I saw one and I was like, man, is that birds? I don't know. And it was doing all kinds of zigzagging and so you know, that's what birds do. They go all over. Uh, I thought it was going real slow and I went to try to get away from it. It's aiming right for me, try to get away from it and went by and then I see a wake and I look back and I see a ghost like sh like shadow of a crab boat. Oh, so yeah, a lot of them aren't really paying attention because they're, they're crabbing. But um, some people that are really the issue is the ones out here in my power boats going 22 knots and blanket of fog. It's stupid. Karen and I are working on mold, demolding still. Uh, well, I'd rather be dealing with fog. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I killed all my brain cells. That's good, honey. Yesterday I did Tara's top patch. It looks brand new again. Yeah, that's nice. That's nice you're able to get those to look brand new again. Yeah, it's even nice if it doesn't have mold just to clean them. Right, you know what would be probably the best idea to do, or best thing to do with that is well, leave it open at night so the water, the condensation doesn't drip in onto it. Yeah. Little man is off from school today. Check this out. Man, she was cleaning out her cubbies to see if there's any mold in them, right? I was like, what is that? I thought it was like some big bug or something. Look. Do you see that? I don't know, but that little army man came in here. You said you're gonna send your army after me, didn't you? Your like little marine came in here. He's like shooting my shoes. I um, made like or um, maybe well when I moved out here, but uh, a guy got dropped. Oh, so you don't think he came in here at night to get me? <laughs> maybe not. I do because I cleaned all the cubbies out when you moved out. <laughs> Ow. Um, Tara's on day two of demolding her room. How's it going? It's going good. I think it's better. Um, this morning when I woke up. I went to the restroom and I was pulling all the blinds up and noticed that there was no condensation at all on the window in the bathroom, but I also noticed that I had not latched it down. So it was just a little smidge open and so just that little smidge made all the difference because in here there was a thin layer of condensation, nothing like what we've been experiencing. And I thought that there was a huge amount up on the window, but turns out it was on the outside. There was like mold in the, in the wood here and it's all gone, it hasn't came back, so that's good. Um, there was still 
mold up in my cubby, so we're gonna hit that again with the cycle that we did yesterday. So there's vinegar sitting on it now. Do you think that's getting better? I think it's getting better. I think it might take another shot of vinegar though. Like I think it was just really thick in there. You saw the bag. Maybe um, it'll sit longer. Yeah, you saw the bag that came out of there and how much mold was on it. So I think it was probably just the epicenter of the mold issue. Reese's room over here today. pretty good and I'm just taking this chance to deep clean it. So I opened up this window, cleaned really good in it, got in here, cleaned out cubbies, taking care of things. The incoming hurricane has changed its course away from us so we've canceled our marina reservation and we're headed for the inlet. We'll stop there and wait out any weather before heading offshore. into Bulkhead Dock um, in, not Buford, Buford, Buford. Okay, to get it right, it's pronounced Beaufort. North Carolina, they have a courtesy car we can use for an hour. Check out this ride. Hey. We're gonna be riding in style. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, terrible. Guy in this thing. They'll be like, hey ladies. But it's four wheels, so. That's right, and it it's works. free. It We're works. You ready to load up the laundry? Yes. In all seriousness, not all marinas have a courtesy car. This is amazing. We were off to get all this laundry knocked out. I'm kind of nervous to drive it. Is it time? It's time to put the mattresses back. Why? I think it looks fine like this. Tear, tear Pete on it. Yeah. <laughs> so this is the little mattress that came with it. Oh, 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 oh. oh I'm so glad you have a different mattress. It yes. would not be very comfortable. No. And we put a pillow top on top of this mattress. Yeah, it's pretty comfortable. I always I feel like I have the easiest job. You do. Actually, making the bed really sucks and Tara has to do that. This is my least favorite one to make. Yeah. Yeah, nice. it pained me to un to unmake it. Um, Gina, well, we're here. Crawl up there and see if you think I need to hit it again tomorrow or what the status is. Yeah, honey, crawl up there and see if she needs to hit it again. Yeah, see if she needs to hit that again. <laughs> you know how we saw that the underneath part, like the glue and the also boards that they use, were green. So I'm having a hard time deciding if it's mold or not. I definitely think it's mold. I don't know what to do. Make the call, woman. I don't well, I'm not putting my stuff back in there tonight anyway, so you have time to think about it. Like, I definitely um, think we need to get a mold cleaner for carpets and shampoo it. Okay. Well, you know, let's just uh, let's go by the drive-by mold cleaner place that they have at the marina. I think we're almost done with this mold business. Just a few more steps and we'll be good to go. Now I think it's turned into a storm hurricane that's like going back and forth, back and forth. It was gonna hit us, we were gonna go somewhere, it wasn't gonna hit us, so we went somewhere else. Now it's gonna hit us, so we're prepping the boat once again for a hurricane. It's not supposed to be coming. Yeah. How many hurricanes have we prepped for this? I don't even know. I'm sick. <laughs> we're gonna run a line from this dock over here up to this cleat just to kind of keep everything in the middle. So we're gonna drop the bowsprit. I take the screecher halyard and I, I secure it to a stay or a shroud and I tape it up and everything with gorilla tape. And we have like a system. Ready? We've been doing a lot of this. Like he said, we've gotten it down to a system. Good. Now pull this line right here. So just to pull the halyard off, you just pull this little pin out. And I, always ha I just have it hooked to this little line just to hold the halyard up there. Let's draw the line and then I'll take the halyard and I'll secure it. Okay, and then I'll pull that up and we'll tape it up too. Usually the stuff that gets damaged is stuff that's a little bit loose. The winds are able to like kind of whip it or even a boat that's like, you don't want to keep it too tight, but you also don't want to keep it too loose because what happens is the winds make it just, they start slamming it and then it starts breaking fleets and lines and stuff like that. 
been in the marinas where it's it does that. The boats that not pull too tight, but they can just kind of bounce in there in your, in your slip, they seem to do better. The ones that are like left loose and it's just like going like this, but when it's doing that, it's, it's breaking fleets and all that kind of stuff. All of that is just based off our personal experience, which we've gotten a ton of lately. Oh. One of the cleats snapped down at one of the other boats. Yeah, this crap is crazy. We had docks rolling like a snake, cleats getting snapped, some dude stepping on the last remaining line so it won't break the cleat, and not one life jacket in sight, including us. Welcome to boat life, baby. They're all lessons learned. I'm sure this one will be as well. So I think we have a total of 10 lines on the boat, five on each side. Some going forward, some going aft. So this is for the screecher. He'll pull it up, tighten it. I just stand here to make sure it doesn't get caught in anything and try not to lose my sunglasses. It's tight now and then we'll take this and gorilla tape it so it's not flapping everywhere. And that'll hopefully hold it in place. Usually we take our solar panels off, but because we have these mega yachts protecting us, we're gonna leave our solar panels on, which is awesome because taking them off. Sucks. Yeah, it's very like tedious. It takes a long time. You gotta put them in the boat and then putting them back on same thing this stuff's really good i found it's like extremely strong gorilla tape um, and i just do like an extra level of like safety but with this stuff just because i have seen this one pop up before i owned the boat it wasn't on here right and this thing's really weak this little like piece of line plus it's going through part of the state where it gets rubbed or the shroud but um so i just pulled up hand tight and i put a little bit of gorilla tape on there i do that on both sides just to make sure this thing doesn't pop out you know while there's 60 knot winds going on this could really hurt somebody or, and really did do a lot of damage seriously you need scissors to take it off so i did this side and i'll do the other one this is our spinnaker halyard right here just it just stays secure to this other shroud until we need it as far as our stack pack goes this thing is like a huge sail and if it's going to be over 40 knots when you're talking about 50 and 60 knots, that's when I start thinking about doing something like this. But I just raise the boom by using the topping lift. I loosen the main sheet so it can raise the boom. And then when you do that, all the lines that hold this thing up get like less, like tension releases on it and allows it to lay down a little bit. So the boom's up higher, that's a little better. And then I wrap it with a halyard and then that holds it in tight. Uh, we haven't had any damage to it yet. I, I think that event Not eventually, totally. I think eventually it will get damaged because it's more sun damage get to it. It's only on here by running like a, a little tube through these, this right here. Um, so it will get damaged eventually, but we try to minimize that and mitigate any damages. So. And I think the winds are supposed to get up to 60 knots, correct? Yeah, 60, maybe 70 knots. So we'll see. Usually we do all this for nothing, but sometimes it, it's for something. You feeling okay? Did you have a rough night? I did. I had a 40 ounce margarita. <laughs> and a tequila shot and, tequila and like shot. 10 Coronas. She's 10 good. Corona? I don't know, maybe yeah, six. You no, know, you drank a bunch of Coronas at the I end. know, I was like, why did I come back and drink more? Yeah. You're feeling uh, okay. good. We all were. All right, so you can see now it's pretty flappy, you know. Um, we will take a line and we'll wrap it. How you doing? Doing good, great. Is this your first hurricane prep? On a boat, yes. Ah, have you learned anything? A lot of lines. <laughs> not too tight, not too loose, right? Just right. Just right. And yeah. Gorilla Tape. And Gorilla Tape. This is our preventer. We run this whenever we're sailing. I'll just use it to pull the boom over and keep tension on it one way so it's not doing any crazy stuff. So you usually want to run these as far forward as you can. I usually just go to the forward midship. Now we're going to run a halyard on it. So Terry, you want to help me run a halyard? If you fall off the boat, you'll be falling onto the boat and we'll feel good. What we need to do is take that, and you're gonna go back here where this preventer's tied on and tie a bowline okay. right there. Okay. Hold on to the boom. There you go. All right, so I'm going around what? You see what the preventer's tied to? See this? And you hold on. You can hold on to me if you need right here. Okay.
Tara said she was good at this knot. I'm not leaving enough tag, am I? Is that too much? No. Okay. Perfect. Nicely done. So what we do is we just tie that off right here and we're gonna wrap this line. Okay. Our main sail is inside of a main tamer, that big white piece. It holds the sail. During this storm, we've decided to wrap it and keep the main sail in place instead of removing it entirely. A little knot, you work on that. It's like uh, <laughs> Chris's vacation. Yeah. Go ahead and uh, go through the handle. Here you go, and then I'm gonna go through the handle. I'm gonna wrap around the plate here and tie it so it keeps it good. And then I'm gonna wrap it around the front of the mast if we can go. And then I'm gonna give it to you, Tara, over there. So let's go up with it. Okay, it's not there. Do a good knot on it. Perfect. Good, and then what I'll do is like with these types of situations, like wind, big wind, mm -hmm. this is perfect. I'll just do another one on it. Okay. And then sometimes I'll even do like a, I'll go back here, I'll wrap it around here, go to this, and I'll do like another little thing just to keep the damn thing from coming undone. You know what I'm saying? Because mm -hmm. if something gets, if one of the ends come undone, everything starts unraveling, you know? It's gonna swing all over the place. So this is, I think, just like a button drum. I have a order, I have a hurricane that's heading straight for us and it's hitting early, so I won't be able to get my groceries and I can't reschedule my delivery for tomorrow. I don't know what to do. I have it scheduled for tomorrow. You should also see that on your side. Okay. It's rescheduled? Yes. It's That's rescheduled awesome. For tomorrow. Cool. You know, the weather's hitting a little bit earlier. It's pretty nasty out. So, that's probably a good call. Yeah. I'm heading to Walmart. You are going? I am. All right. Good luck. Thank you. She's gonna attempt Here we go. This in the well, if they'll even give me a car. We'll see. All right, here we go. Have fun. Be safe. Oh, wait. I need my phone. Where is it? Yeah, that would not be good for my house. All right. Tara has decided to brave the beginning parts of the storm and go to the store for some supplies. She made it. How'd it go? Good. They wouldn't let me go to Walmart. They said, could you go any further? Um, they said, streets could be flooded. They were like, have you checked out the town? And I was like, no. And they're like, what do you need? And I was like, well, I need moisture bags for the boat. And they're like, uh, we have an Ace Hardware, you should be able to get them there. And I was like, oh, and I need soap. And they're like, you, you should be able to get that at Rose's grocery store. Ace Hardware did have the moisture bag, but Rose's did not have the soap. Well, let me see the so. moisture stuff you ended up with. I got six of these, because you had said six of the large ones. And then I got um, the refill container or refill beads for them. Oh cool. What car did you end up taking the wet? I got the CRV. But oh my goodness, the parking brake was on when I got in and I didn't know it. And I thought it was rough backing out, but I just thought that they had parked too close to the curb, you know? But then I noticed that it continued and so they came running and they're like the park and I was like, How yeah, the parking brake's on and they're like, Yeah, we heard that and I was like, Where's it at? And they're like right by the um the seat or whatever. So then I'm like, I have my foot on the brake and I'm pushing, like I'm pushing it in and trying to push it down and I can't get it to go down for the life of me. And there's like people behind me beeping cause they want out and I'm blocking the exit. And I open up the door and I'm like, I can't get it to go down. I have my foot on the brake and I'm pushing the handle. And they're like, you gotta pull it up first. So you kind of had to push it in, pull it up and then down. And then I noticed that the brake light was still on and it never went off. So I was like, oh, but 
I mean, it was off. Like That's funny. But I almost pulled it over just because I was worried, you know? That's funny. But, well, but you yeah, made it. I made it. How do you feel about it? You feel like your clothes are fine now and everything will be fine? I do. Cool. So, and, yeah. I, and like you can't see the green anymore, so that's good. It looks really good, Tara. It worked out. Thank you. Yeah, I think so. That's awesome. Coming soon on the Lazy Geckos. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, they must have already known who we are because we didn't tell them we were Lazy Geckos sailing. No, it doesn't say it on the thing either. And now I try to catch it. The broadcasting everybody, the Coast Guard recording you, everything's so. Are you nervous? Angel Oak Tree. They glued it in. <sighs> Gaia, Gaia, Gaia. Calypso on 1 6. Look at the back of this thing. She's like, what's this crazy blonde like, one? <laughs> I've never seen the inside of a microwave. Oops. Mm. We have Jason Pinko here today. The inner Dyneema is spliced into itself to right there. Is this the best day ever? Or <laughs> Jeremiah just left to go uh, be a part of the RV survey. First night aboard the RV. Jeremiah doesn't really know what he's doing. That was so much easier than unhooking power on the boat. Want more? Check us out at lazygeckos.net. Remember, patrons can get complimentary access. You can also visit our Vimeo channel. The link is below. Don't forget to click subscribe to get all of the fun. See you next week.